أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ومن كفر فلا يحزن ككفره إلينا مرجعهم فننبئهم بما عملوا إن الله عليم بذات الصدور نمتعهم قليلا ثم نضطرهم إلى عذاب غليظ ولئن سألتهم من خلق السماوات والأرض ليقولن الله قل الحمد لله بل أكثرهم لا يعلمون لله ما في السماوات والأرض إن الله هو الغني الحميد ولو أن ما في الأرض من شجرة أقلام والبحر يمده والبحر يمده من بعده سبعة أبحر ما نفدت ما نفدت كلمات الله إن الله عزيز حكيم ما خلقكم ولا بعثكم إلا كنفس واحدة إن الله سميع بصير صدق الله العظيم ذي سعرايات فرم سورة لقمان داية فرم داية نمبر 23 تلد آية نمبر 28 في آية نمبر 23 الله سبحانه وتعالى says woman kafara and whoever disbelieves because in the ayah number 22 Allah said woman yuslim whoever submits his face so now we are talking about the opposite woman kafara and whoever disbelieves so you may we can understand that the one who submits the one is the opposite of the one who denies he sees he acknowledges he admits what he sees woman yuslim wajahu it's not just submitting without understanding without seeing the reality without seeing the proof no as we said in the previous lectures woman yuslim wajahu who sub whoever submits his face mean after understanding, after seeing the reality, after seeing the proof, after seeing that the that Almighty God, Allah, is the one who is in control of all things, and that He is the one who created us, and that He is the one who created the heavens and the earth, then after determining Him, after that certainty, one turns his face to him and ask him to guide please guide me oh my creator so here woman kafara in daya number 23 and whoever denies even he sees the truth he denies it because he do not like them he wants to be free in this life he do not want to accept that this system and this creation and especially himself cannot come to exist without a real reason without a real hand of the creator it cannot be we are not such a simple things we can understand we can consider we can realize we can distinguish we can feel we can love so the one who made us should be superior to us. He should be able to love, to think, to distinguish, to understand, because he is the one who granted us with these abilities. 
we cannot be out of nothing. We cannot be out of rocks. We cannot be out of things that, can, that cannot have any consciousness. The man of understanding should see the real reason behind this creation. And that's how we come to know the Creator. We, see, we say, the one who created the heavens and the earth. We know the heavens and the earth before the Creator. We see it and look at it. And then we say, the one who arranged these stars, he is almighty and he has all the knowledge and all the power. And we look, then we look at this planet and this life and to ourselves. And we say, we didn't create ourselves. We didn't create our children. And we didn't encounter anyone who claims that he created anything in this life. So we say, the one who created us, that's how we come to know him. We come to know him through the proofs, through his actions, through his sublime attributes. And we live in his planet and between his actions and we are as ourself his ayah, his signal, his signs. So we cannot disbelieve his power, we cannot deny his existence and his might and his pride. But some people try to do this deliberately. Believe in me. They do this deliberately. No one go to deny the Creator with proof because all the proof against Him. No one can say, I cannot see any proof about the Creator. And who are you if there is not a proof about the Creator? And where do you live if there is not proof about the Creator? How do you explain yourself? How do you explain your life here? How do you explain your consciousness? Can they be out of nothing? How do you accept this absurd? And is this, is this the way of science? How, how science is it? We are, and this life, and this system, is the most greatest sign and proof of the Creator. Because in this life, when we see any clue about anyone, for example, in any crime, when we see a proof about him in that crime, we say, you did that. We follow the proof. We no one in this life did say that this happened itself. This crime happened itself. No need to find anyone who did that. But we know that in this life, the most conceivable question, who did that? We cannot say it had happened by itself. If you say that, then it, all the people Will, will consider that you are insane. So why when we come to know this life and we come to know to understand our being here, we say that it happened by itself? No. Our mind and our faculties will reject it. So if someone want to deny the proof of the Creator, he should cover up his faculties. No way. He cannot go in that way without denying his faculties, without denying his mind, his understanding. So Allah in Quran defined them as kuffar, those who denies, those who covers up the truth, covers up 
their understanding. Woman kafara and whoever covers up. Woman kafara and whoever denies. Fala yahzun ka kufru. Please do not grieve over them. Do not let them grieve you. Fala yahzun ka kufru. Do not let their disbelief grieve you. Woman kafara fala yahzun ka kufru. Even if he is your brother, even if he is your son, do not let his disbelief grieve you. Because this is very big crime and he is he doing he do he he does this crime deliberately intentionally he wants to deny his creator to be free in this life and to behave unjustly in this life he is he wants to be uh, a disbeliever he wants to be a wicked he wants to be an evil man. So this is his choice. Let him free to behave as he wants. Let him do, let him let him does whatever he wills. Woman kafara fala kufru. When you see them torturing the believer, behaving unjustly in this life, do not grieve over them. Do not think that they will do all this and then they will not receive any punishment. No, they will receive their punishment. Do not grieve over them. Woman kafara fala yahzunka kufru. In Islam, according to Quran, if someone refuses the truth and the truth the truth of Islam is that acknowledging the oneness of the Creator, acknowledging the one who created us and the heavens and the earth, and then asking him to guide us. This is the way of Islam. And then believe in him and believe that he will guide us and he will not forsake us. Then ask him, pray him. This is the way of Islam. If, and according to Quran, no one can reject this understanding. No one has any proof to reject this understanding. While all the proofs is, are presented for this understanding and the ability, the faculty of the human being is coincidence with understanding. So if someone denies, he rejects all his understanding, all his faculties and try to go to the opposite even against himself against his understanding so they are the kuffar they are the deniers if someone do deliberately and no way to do it other than deliberately to do this crime then his choice is clear do not grieve over them let not his displeasure grieve you you can advise him, you can explain.